Hey guys, I'm Megan and you're watching Fabulous TV Patia. Today I am here at the Hill Tribe Village Patia. Right here you can experience the real northern Thailand countryside. Right here in Patia there are many, many things to see and do. You can see the Long Neck Hill Tribe here. You can go on elephant rides. You can feed the crocodiles and go on horse rides. The list of the things that you get to see and do here is endless, you know. It's the perfect place to come if you want to see the real northern Thailand culture but not have to go right up to northern Thailand. You can see it right here in Pattaya. So come on, let's head inside and check it out. Located along the bypass road next to the railway line in South Pattaya is the recently opened Hill Tribe Village Pattaya. Here you'll be able to experience an elephant ride whilst taking in the beautiful views of the village. Elephants are the official national animal of Thailand and were previously used as a form of transport. You'll also be able to experience the Northern Thai traditional market where you can purchase handmade goods and even try on and purchase the Hill Tribe clothing and accessories. A horse carriage will then be waiting to take you to your next stop. The horse carriages are a tradition from Lampang City in the north of Thailand and are still used as a form of transport today. The most popular attraction is the Long Neck Village area. Here you'll be able to see for yourselves the Long Neck tribes, also known as Giraffe Women or Galiang originating from Burma and mostly residing in Me Hong Son in northern Thailand. Brass coils are worn around the neck and legs, beginning around the age of five years old, with more coils added every couple of years. The village is also home to a large crocodile pond, where you'll have the opportunity to feed the crocodiles yourself. The Hill Tribe Village Patia a wonderful day out and a great opportunity to learn more about Northern Thailand culture without having to leave Pattaya City. Coming up next, Pattaya Mail, taking you on a road trip. La Costa by L'Italiano is a stunningly beautiful Italian restaurant offering traditional pizzas, pastas, and authentic Italian cuisine, alongside fresh seafood and the best dishes from Thailand, too. Twelve years in Pattaya, La Costa by L'Italiano promises an outstanding lunch or dinner experience. Find us on Beach Road at the front of the LK Empress Hotel next to Soy 12. Check us out on Facebook. La Costa by L'Italiano, Pattaya's premier Italian restaurant. Hey, trouble, trouble and strife. Hey, sorrow, won't you be my wife? All right, Jeff Carter here, and I've guessed where we are today. You'll never guess. We've come down the Succumbit Road, right, on our motorbikes, and then we turned off to the left. We've come about a mile, and uh, we've ended up at this place. Look at it. Wow, look at that. And I think it's called Laser Buddha or Buddha Mountain. So come on, let's have a look. Let's go and have a look what's going on because it looks great and it's free to get in. Fantastic. It's a mountain, right? And in the mountain is proper gold. And what they've done, right? They put all this stuff together, built like a framework, and then unbelievable. Wait till you see this now. Are you ready? Count to three. One. Two, three, how about this then? Wow! 
they actually make wine next door to here, so that's our next stop. But for now, just going to show you this because it's absolutely beautiful. Look at this. And it's all free to come in. You could even bring a picnic here or something. Get your cheese and onion butties out and your scotch eggs and your little sausages. Bottle of pop. Plonk yourself down here. Look at this. Idyllic. Absolutely fantastic. And you're in the presence of the big golden Buddha. Check that out. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, here we go. Your donation of kindness to Kao Chi Chan will help us to protect and develop this Buddhist place. So basically, it's um, you give a little contribution here and uh, it helps to do all the gardening and keep everything tidy. So I'm gonna give a nice donation of 100 baht towards the upkeep of this beautiful place. We've even just talked to some complete strangers, right? And even they said, it's so hot today. So, we're going to go to Silver Lake now, which is next door apparently, and they make wine from grapes. But apparently it's non-alcoholic wine. They'll let you have a taste of it and show you how they make it. And they might have some alcoholic stuff to sell. So if it tastes nice, um, we might take a bottle back and then uh, share it one night on the balcony. How about that then? Nothing dodgy, if you know what I mean. Just, <laughs> just a drink between friends. <laughs> Part two of this episode of Patia Mail tomorrow, right here on Fabulous Patia TV. Look at this lovely fountain. Mmm, delicious. Miles and miles and millions of grapes. Coming up next, fabulous food. The referees can't decide who the winner should be in the big match between Retox versus Retox Game On. Retox in Soy Lenki is the sports bar with more, and more of those specials, like the 98 bat breakfast and daily Brexit specials. Retox Game On in Soy Honey is the brand new sports bar, with 50 TVs including one at your own table, plus the surprise of a new menu and seating for 200 for any match, day or night. The battle continues 24 hours a day. Try Retox and Retox Game On, then you decide.
our condos are already finished and ready for you to move in. Forget the hassles and the sleepless nights, your dream home is already built, fully furnished and ready to move in straight away at Jomtien Beach Penthouses. We offer a number of very reasonably priced one, two and three bedroom apartments for sale or for long-term rent. Just 80 meters from sandy beaches, Jomtien Beach Penthouses is in one of the most sought after and safest areas in all of Pattaya. Jomtien Beach Penthouses, your completed home in the sun. Hello everybody, I'm Megan and you are watching Fabulous TV Pattaya. So today I'm here to check out an exciting new attraction here in Pattaya, located quite close to Silver Lake, Upside Down Pattaya. wonderful day it has been here at Upside Down World Patio. It's a really great place to come with the family. A great day out, you can take lots of fun photos for all the family. So come down here and check it out for yourselves. They are located very close to Silver Lake or you can have, head over to their Facebook page for more information. So that is all from me today. Thank you for watching and remember to tune in at the same time tomorrow to see what other fun places we check out around town. I'm Megan and you are watching Fabulous TV Patio. Coming up next, Fit and Fabulous, your daily one minute workout. Tonglor Clinic on Tapraya Road guarantees the utmost satisfaction for patients who want to look younger, feel better, and remain healthier. Our qualified doctors specialize in fillers, Botox, laser treatment, and cosmetic surgery, and use only authentic products. At Tonglor Clinic, your initial consultation is free and our prices include free follow-up visits for treatments received. Tonglor is fully licensed and has staff that speak Thai, English, German and French. Visit our website tonglorclinic.com for details. Tonglor, where your youth stays with you forever. Many people
people often worry about how much food they should be eating, when the real worry is what is the quality of the food I'm eating. You've seen part one where we talked about macronutrients, now we're going to look into talking about micronutrients, which are just as important, if not even more important. Micronutrients are things like antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals that the body requires, but in smaller doses. While nutrient-rich foods contain many of these in abundance, and the term superfoods are quite often used to describe them. What makes a food considered nutrient-dense is that it contains a great amount of vitamins or antioxidants in it in relation to its calorie content. For example, French fries contain very little healthy nutrients and are nearly vitamin and nutrient free, yet are very high in calories from non-useful fats and starches. While something like blueberries, however, contain fewer calories and high amounts of vital nutrients and vitamins that the body finds highly useful. There are many ways to get high nutrients, low calorie foods into your diet. Colorful salads, homemade fruit yogurts, no sugar added smoothies, and making sure to get in a plenty raw or lightly steamed vegetables. Also, eating things like kefir, sauerkraut, seaweeds, fresh berries, kimchi, and green juices can help you get some great low calorie, high nutrient foods. So next time, instead of asking yourself, how much food should I be eating? Ask yourself, what's the quality of food that I should be eating? And until next time, stay healthy and stay happy. ไม่ต้องไปเหนื่อยหลักนะจุ๊บๆบิ๊กซีช้อปปิ้งออนไลน์มาส่งของครับก็มันง่ายอ่ะบิ๊กซีช้อปปิ้งออนไลน์ให้
learn some new moves with complimentary dance lessons before the party and enjoy the Latin tunes by a live DJ. The dancing itself starts at 8.30 at the Havana Bar at Holiday Inn. If you're looking for a Sunday roast, a good one, the Retox Group have some of the best buffet deals. At the Robin Hood Tavern, eat all you can for 395 baht. Retox Dark Side on Soy Siam Country Club Road, you can fill your boots there too for 375 baht. This is for a full course or you can eat carvery. If you own a vehicle in Pattaya, or you don't want to take the risks of driving illegally without an official Thai driving license here, Always Driver and Vehicle Licensing Agency can help with your needs. Located on Soy Lenki off Pattaya 3rd Road, consultations are absolutely free. I'm Megan and you're watching Fabulous TV Patia. Today we are down here again at the Hand to Hand Foundation. We are here for our monthly update with Marky. So, uh, Marky, last month you were collecting food items. How did it go? Fantastic, you know, it just again is like, wow, the generosity of people from all over the world, you know, local people coming in and giving us stuff, people sending money through PayPal, you know, people just clearing out their cupboards, you know, this time of year, lots of people are leaving town and so like, I've got a bag of rice, it's like, great, we'll take it. So we're just so blown away by the generosity of people again. And so this month we asked for more expensive items like rice and jam as well. So, you know, when you look at our tally, it might not look like we have a thousand things of mama noodles, but we got ask for other stuff as well and so we're just like so happy with the response to it. Did you exceed your limit? We did, yeah. we did. We, we were hoping that we would get 200 of each item but we got over that of almost every single item so we're just so happy, yes. Well that's perfect. So I see you have a lot of food items here behind us. What exactly is going to happen with all this, all this food? So every um, week we go to the slums and we feed 66 families in the slums. So some of the families live a bit further away, so we go there once a month. Um, and basically we give them either one or two kilogram packs of food. And it's not enough food to support their whole family, but it's enough to help them get by a little bit. And so we go and feed these families so that they can stay, keep their children. You know, one of the big reasons people put their children in orphanages, they don't have enough food. They think my child's better off without me. So our whole thing is not just to help the child, but to help the whole family, because when you do that, you help the child. And so all this food is going to go into the slums and every month we give away so much food. We thought we'd have one, uh, one appeal a year for slum food supplies. Well, we ran out of that food in like three months, so that's why we had to have another month. And again, we're going to have another month appeal later in the year because we just go through it so quickly. So even when they appeal, you're not collecting food, yes. but you're collecting other items. People can still bring food down here, right? That's right. So we actually go every week, normally on a Friday, and then once a month we do a huge slum visit. So yes, we're giving out food all the time. You know, just today we've had two families come in, referred to us by social welfare, saying I have no food to feed my child so we've given them food we've connected them with um, services and everything so you know the, we're the first emergency stop for a lot of families you know it's really nice to hear and it's great that today we are going down there to see it for ourselves this month is the uh, food appeal how about next month so next month we're doing stationery <clears throat> so it's colored paper this is for the month of july month of July. Yes. yes. So it's actually this month. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so we're collecting coloured paper, white paper, um, pencils, crayons, glue. Um, we want to get all of our kids a library bag because our kids don't have any books at home. So we have a lot of donated books. So we can buy um, bags for 55 baht. We want the kids to be able to paint on them themselves borrow books once or twice a week, take them. Thai or English? It uh, doesn't matter because, you know, at this stage, you know, when they can't actually read, um, it's just looking through a book, looking at the pictures, telling a story from the pictures is just as important as reading the words. So secondhand books we're looking for and we're also looking for bags that we can turn into library bags. 
If you go to our web page um, or our Facebook page, the, all the items are there telling you how much they cost and where you can buy them from. So you can go and buy them or you can give us the money or you can say, can you take me shopping with you? And we'll take you shopping yeah. so you can find the stuff yourself and, and we'll give you a helping hand. So. And people can actually go down to the slums with you to help out and see it for themselves, right? Yes, we're looking, we're always looking for volunteers. Yeah. So, you know, if you want to come to the slums with us on a Friday morning, normally that's when we go. Mm -hmm. Just let us know a couple of days in advance and um, we'll, we'd love you to come along because, you know, there's so much stuff to carry, yes. you know, and just going in. So and we need all those strong men out yes. there. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, and just going along with a smile on your face. You're living in the slum and you know you can't meet the needs of your child and sometimes that makes you depressed. Yes. And sometimes when someone just comes in and gives you a smile, yes. shakes your hand, Friend, says, friendly face. Yeah, it's, it's going to be okay. It's like, yeah. you know, you leave joy. So we don't just deposit food. We leave joy with them as well. Make them feel loved. Yes. yes. You know, there's so much to be having for just loving people. So, yeah, so if you want to come on down and, and, and feed the people with us, we'd love you to do that. Yes. Well, that's why I'm going today. Yay. It's going to be my first time. I'm very excited. So like Margie said, you know, there are so many ways to help out the Hand to Hand Foundation. The best way would be to head over to the website or the Facebook page and all the information that you need is there. Margie, thank you very much for having me thank here today. You so much. And I wish you the best of luck with your July appeal. Thank you thank so you. much. Okay, bye. Why not watch Fabulous TV Patio on your phone or laptop or tablet? It's a daily show with news, updates, and things to do right here in the city of fun. Visit tvpatio.com. Got cable TV? TMN? Check us out on the Cinema One channel. Five primetime slots a day, every day. Fabulous TV Patio. So good, you might want to watch it. Today's fabulous TV Patia is available for repeat and rewind at tvpatia.com.